guys and welcome back to the super yummy kitchen and we're today going to be making zombie peppers you're stuffed pepper <laughs> these are oozy goozy deliciousness who doesn't like a zombie <laughs> Zombie peppers, not carrots, Ken. Zombie peppers. Of course, the main ingredient is peppers. I've got some onions, some cheese, some blood-coloured beetroot, <laughs> some dried herbs, some maggoty, delicious, delicious cooked brown rice, some fresh herbs, and a couple of sauces, some Worcester sauce and some soy sauce, just to give it a little bit of added savouriness. Yeah! OK. First thing you've got to do is make a zombie face in your pepper. It's a little bit like jack-o'-lanterns at Halloween, but a lot more fun. Now you need to get an adult to do this because it does use a sharp knife. But the first thing that we need to do is just to cut the top off. It's quite tough, but we're gonna cut all the way around. And then we're going to cut the membrane slowly around the outside. It's really important that we don't actually cut all the way through. And then we're going to rip the heart out of the pepper. Dive in and scrunch and rip and ha, there it goes. Amazing. So we need to take that out. And then what I like to do at the end is just tap the last seeds out. Just like that. So I've got a lovely cup ready to be stuffed. Now I'm going to start to make the zombie face. So first of all, a little incision. We're going to have some zombie eyes. Really important, again, you think about where the knife's going to be. There's one zombie eye. And then we're going to make another zombie eye. Remember, it's important that your parents help you do this. Just pop that out. Now we've got two zombie eyes. I think a little zombie nose. Little zombie nose. And that's probably enough. So there we have a zombie face ready for the zombie filling. Pop the lid back on. Hey, Mum, let's make a gruesome face with eyes, ears and fangs. Get an adult to help with the knife. And a mouth, Mum, remember? Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make the filling that goes inside the pepper. Let's pop that on there. Going to heat the pan up. Let's remember that this is a hot pan too. Tiny little bit of oil. And then I'm going to pop in some finely chopped onion. Pop in the onion and we'll hear that sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Now remember, big circles and little circles. This is something that you can do. So we move that around and around. We can start to hear the noise. We can start to smell it too. And these onions will start to go slightly clearer and keep moving all the time. And really think about what your hands and what the pan's doing, but be careful not to get too close. Remember, it may spit a little bit. Mm, and the smell. So they're beautifully clear. And now I'm going to pop in, turn that off, and I'm going to pop in the rest of the ingredients. We've got our lovely brown rice. Let's just pop that in there too. Now that's really going to act as almost like the filling, so the, the sort of bulky filling part of the peppers. Brown rice is in. Let's keep stirring. There's no heat on now. We're just basically combining all these ingredients together. Get tooled up with a grater and grate your beetroot. Gorgeous red, blood-coloured beetroot. That's going to be popped in as well. The colour now is going to be amazing. So let's mix that together. So the rice now goes amazingly pink. The whole thing has gone beautifully pink and colourful and delicious. All it needs now is just a little cheese. Let's pop in the cheese. And keep stirring all the time. Oh, it looks fantastic. And then I'm going to use some uh, dried herbs, a little teaspoonful of mixed dried herbs. You can use some fresh herbs as well. I've got some basil and I've got some parsley, but I actually think on this occasion that's just about right. So I've got a couple of sauces you can add now. We've either got Worcester sauce or soy sauce. I think Worcester sauce would be really good. So I'm going to use a tablespoonful. Really important you get tooled up with your spoons. This is a tablespoon. One tablespoonful of soy sauce because that's the perfect amount. And that'll make it kind of a little bit zingy goes in there and then start to mix together. So we now have this amazing pink, gorgeous mix that we're going to pop into each of the peppers. 
case now is just a case of filling them. I have one with a brilliant zombie face on already and another the zombie face that I just did. And I'm going to pop in the filling. We need to make sure it's packed really well because what we want to do, of course, is we want the maggots and we want the blood and the gorgeous cheese to ooze out the eyes of our zombies. So that's filled right to the top and I'm packing it really quite hard. So <coughs> squidge it back in a little bit like when you're making a sandcastle. Fantastic. Now I'm going to pop that lid back on there and I'm going to pop that lid back on there. I'm going to pop these peppers in the oven at 180 degrees for about 45 minutes. So I haven't got 45 minutes to wait, but I've got two more in the oven. I need to get to see Kenty at the allotment. So I'll just take these out the oven. Oh, the smell. Amazing. And the zombie faces. Now these are very hot, so you have to be careful. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. There you have it. Delicious. Oozy, juicy, gorgeous zombie peppers. And now it's over to you, Meg, in Ken T's allotment. What are you saying, Meg? I hope you're enjoying making the zombie peppers today. Peppers contain lots of vitamin C, which help protect our cells and keep them healthy. The vitamin C in peppers helps our body absorb more iron. So go ahead and eat one of your zombie peppers. It will give you one of your vegetable portions for the day. To see this recipe, check out our super yummy kitchen channel on YouTube. Happy cooking. See you all next time. Bye. <laughs> Chartwells, providing super yummy school meals every day. See you then.